Yo, I'm Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. I've got some awesome community posts for you, including some updates from the Power BI product team. If you are going to be at Microsoft Ignite this week, Tuesday, November 5th, so it'll be tomorrow as of when this video launches, from 4 to 6 p.m. at Marlowe's Tavern, we are going to have the Microsoft Ignite Power Pint. So this is just a little community meetup from the folks over at BI Focal Podcast. Marquee Insights, and Guy in a Cube. So how do you get into this event? You've gotta come find one of us and get a pin. So for myself, I'm gonna be floating around. You can probably see me at the Microsoft booth or just check Twitter. I'll probably be putting where I'm at on Twitter. So get one of these pins. This is your entry into the event. Also, if you want, come find me. I've got some stickers. I've got some Power BI, ugh, some Power BI stickers and some Guy in a Cube stickers. So you can hit me up for that as well. I'll be floating around all week. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. Parker Stevens from BI Elite's got a video out there looking at how you can create your own custom Venn diagram. He calls out that there is a custom visual for this, but it didn't necessarily have all the customization options that he was looking for. So he walked through how to create your own. It's an interesting technique. It's a very creative use of pie charts. Yes, there is a use for pie charts. And he just walks through how to set it up and shows the fact that it is interactive as well. The other cool thing about this video is I actually picked up two things I didn't necessarily know. I honestly, I never even thought about it, but it was an interesting way to expose other features of Power BI and just use them in creative ways that I just may never have thought of using them before. So definitely check out the video so you can pick up on that as well. I'll have a link floating around up here to the video. Also, you can check out the links down in the description below along with links to all the items from this week, including some bonus items, so go check it out. Marco Russo from SQL BI's got an amazing blog post looking at the difference between calculated columns using DAX and computed columns from a Power Query perspective. Patrick actually did a video talking about some of this saying, look, push it back to the data source as much as you can. So instead of creating that calculated column, maybe do it in Power Query, or if you've got access to the data source, go ahead and push it back to that level to avoid doing the calculated column if you can. Marco goes a little deeper in this and shows that with all things, it depends. He goes into calculated columns and what that's actually doing from the VertiPack engine perspective, as well as some of the pros and cons of doing either. So really it's about your data situation. And the other thing I love that he points out here is anything you do, you really need to test and compare to really know how it's gonna work with your data. There's never just a one size fits all. So it's a good read. If you're curious about which one you should go with, check out the link down below. Jen Sturr from Data Relish has got a blog post looking at the new Power BI feature, the Data Lineage View. She points to the blog post that's out over on the Power BI blog, and she looks at why you should really take advantage of this and what it's all about. I love her blog post in the sense that it really looks at, you know, what data governance really is and why you should be looking at it and the fact that this doesn't take the human equation out of it. You still have a part to play and she looks at why that is. One of the important areas that I think she calls out is what the data lineage piece does not do. This is a really cool feature. It lets you understand what's being used in your workspace and with inside of your Power BI tenant. Also check out the blog announcement because they talk about kind of what, what they're thinking about for the road ahead. And while you're at it, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of the lineage view. I mentioned Microsoft Ignite just before, and I am at Microsoft Ignite this week. If you are too, there is a blog post looking at the sessions that the Power BI team is putting on this week at Ignite. So if you're curious about that, check out the blog post and see everything that Microsoft has to offer from a Power BI perspective. Myself, I'll be presenting two different sessions, one on Tuesday morning and another on Friday morning. So if you wanna come say hi to me, check those out and come along. The Power BI team is trying something new. They are going to try and do some of these ask me anything type sessions or time slots, if you will. The first one of these is coming up on Wednesday, November 6th. It is going to be with Amanda Kofsky and it's gonna be a sneak peek of the new Power BI desktop before it drops. You get to see all the cool things that are coming before it's actually available, which is awesome. 
This will be online, but there's going to be some activities that you have to do in order to get into the event. You'll have to go over to the community site and give a like or kudo for the given post, and then that will secure your entry in. It does say that it's limited, but it doesn't say what that limit is. At the time of this recording, it was up a little over 500 kudos. So I don't know what the cap is. So definitely go over to the community site, make sure you give it a thumbs up or a kudo, and hopefully that will allow you to get into the event. I've got a link to the blog post for this item and a link to the community item directly down in the description below. So check that out if you're interested. All right, I wanna pass this off to you. What did you find interesting this last week? Maybe it was something I mentioned. Maybe it was something I didn't. I wanna know, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.